Hey and welcome to another episode of the Mix with Marty series. In this episode, I'm gonna actually do a remix of a song that I do, did back in 2014. The song is called Falling Into Pieces by Katrin Hammerschmidt. And um, I did the mix back in a hybrid setup with a, another console, so not with this one. Um, and that's also why I can't recall the mix, um, but I have some stems. So if I had to do any changes now, I could do that with stems. But I'm gonna show you today um, what I can do just analog-wise. So I'm gon not gonna use um, any plugins um, in the box, just use the console, um, output compression and effects. And um, this might be a good opportunity to see for you how quickly you can make a mix um, when you have physical faders and physical knobs. So you just have to reach, for example, for the EQ and turn up the high end or the low end or something like that without having to search for a plug-in. Um, of course, you're quite limited what you can do. You have um, basically on the console all the same EQs, um, but I have a, a nice selection of output compressors that I can use in the various tracks. Um, a lot of tracks are actually summed to stereo pairs here and I do um, kind of like broad strokes with them. Um, but for this mix, um, it, it might work quite well. Um, it's not too dense. We got, as you can see, um, kick, snare, so drums, hi-hat, toms, overheads and room mics, also a little bit of percussion, bass, acoustic guitar and electric guitars, um, 10 of them, or actually 11 with the solo ones, and a lead vocal track and two back vocals. So, um, I would say I'm going to show you what I do when I start the mix um, with the analog. I have all the faders down and yeah, let's see how that works out. Okay, let's get right into it. And what I always basically do is when I start the song and I listen to it a couple of times, I just bring up the faders and see what we actually got. So let's start off with the acoustic guitars. The second one. Let's also bring in the drums. Room mic. Percussion. We've got the bass. So just Bring everything up to zero, just for now. Let's bring that a little bit down. All right, so the vocals are basically way too quiet, but we'll change that with a um, little bit of a gain boost then with the compressors and also with the EQ. Um, but let's focus now just on the drums to get um, the balance a little bit there. So let's turn off everything else and go to the drums. Let's bring down everything. So let's focus just on the kick. Let's bring in a little bit of EQ. Maybe let's add a little bit of 5K. And 60, around 3 dB, without it, and with. 
All right, I like that. Let's bring also in the snare. A little brighter. Just a little bit. Let's see what the low cut is doing. It. Maybe we take it away later. Um, let's also add a little bit of, let's see, 100. Get a little bit more bottom end in the snare. Found it. So um, with the kick parallel and the snare parallel, I'm gonna bring that in later. Um, let's focus now on the overheads. Spread them a little bit more. Sounds about right. Let's add also a little bit of top end. Let's see low cut. Nope, no low cut. Let's see three K. Just a little bit. Got it. And with. And with. Just make it a little bit brighter. All right. Let's see room. Let's focus the room. Also add a little bit of a bottom end. Found it. And Let's see the patterns. Right. Then let's see what the percussion is doing. So before I do any compression um, on the drums itself, I always try to write the volume first and get the EQ right. Let's add a little bit of or let's say 7k found it and with without and with also low cut more. All right. That sounds quite good. Let's see overall. Okay, the drums are way too quiet. 
also bring in now a little bit of compression on the master bus. So all the drums go to the drum bus here. And I have inserted here um, the Teal Ebony, the A2, Teal Audio. So let's bring in the compressor. Let's go to four to one maybe. Um, slow attack and fast release. Without it. And with. Let's also add a little bit of EQ. like a little bit of a smiley curve out and with so both a little darker sounding a little bit more spank let's also add the tube stage drive it a little bit I like that. Once more. Out all the three. That's quite nice. Let's check again. Right. You might have to do quite a bit of compression with the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar. And let's go now to the bass. Let's check the bass with the kick. Because we have to get that right in the first place. A little bit of low end. And maybe that's also make it a little bit darker. bottom end in there. Okay, and now let's, in the software, let's add another track. So duplicate that one and copy the whole bass track. And let's get that out on the second bass track, which is output 12 in this case. And I have here the bass amp, um, and I insert it on this track in the rack on my left. I inserted this unit. It's the power plant that you may have seen in my other video. And it's basically a guitar amplifier, and I use that to um, dirten up the bass tracks because it might fit a little bit better in the mix after all. So let's see, let's go to the bass. So that would be clean. And as with the dirt, um, let's add a little bit more distortion maybe. More harmonics on the lens. And with that one, I just want a little bit more mid-range. We combine that with the other bass track. Let's bring that a little bit back. So this is just the DI. Gets 
just a little fuller without it. And with, let's see with the kick. Just leave it for now, maybe a little bit too loud. But once we add the other instruments, like the acoustic guitars now. But before we go to the acoustic guitars, actually let's add a little bit of compression to the bass. And um, on the bass I have the DBX 160. Acoustic guitars. Okay. Let's solo the acoustic guitars. There are two left and right. Might get rid of a little bit of a low end, so let's make a low cut. Without it. Sparkle, 12 level hertz. Let's check again. Let's make the bass a little bit quieter. go to the rack now and see what we do with compression on the acoustic guitar. So let's start from the top again. So we have here the FMR RNC. Um, well it's, it's actually the FMR RNLA so it's a little bit of a different compressor. So let's see, um, let's go to bolt one maybe way too much. Solo the acoustic guitars. Not too fast of an attack, don't want to kill all the transients, but a faster release. It. 
for up to four to be compression. All right. Sit right quite a bit better in the mix now. And let's go now to the electric guitars. Okay, so electric guitars. Um, as you can see, we got quite a lot of them. One, two, um, actually nine. 10, 11 electric guitars with the solo ones. Um, electric guitars were all recorded just with a DI and with a um, Fender Stratocaster. So let's listen to just maybe this guitar here in solo without um, the effects, which is here a chorus and a delay effect. And with it. Okay, and this was actually also the only guitar that was recorded with a real amp, with a Marshall MG100. And all the other tracks, let's see those two for example, they both have a um, pedal effect in the box and also guitar amp in the box, both of them. So first of all we got from Waves the Guitar Stomp, which is just an overdrive here. Um, let's listen to that without it. And the amp is also the Waves guitar amp. Um, went here with a cabinet of um, 4 by 12 inch. Um, here is the drive is cream here. Um, reduced a little bit the bass and the mids and also added a little bit of treble here. Um, and that's basically it. So without the amp, you can just hear the DI. And with both. And that's basically the electric guitars and they all have pretty much the same settings as you can see. So also the very same amp and the pedal. Um, just a little bit of reverb here and there some, on some guitars. And um, on the solo guitars here, I have um, also added the reverb a little bit. Maybe let's listen to them in solo. So two left and right alternating um, guitars without that, and also without the amp. Okay, so what we want to do now here is um, get the electrics um, a little bit more compressed, but not too much because with um, electrics, as they have a amp already on it, it's actually quite compressed a bit. Um, by the nature of an amp and um, so just get them a little bit more right into the mix and also maybe reduce the volumes a little bit and add a little bit more mid-range. So let's first grab the EQ. Let's solo all the guitars. Let's make a low cut first of all. Don't need anything 100 hertz in there or below 100 hertz. See the top end. Let's try 5k. A bit too much. Let's see bottom end. Just a tad bit. Not too much. Without it. Let's see how the works in the whole mix. All right, let's compress them. Let's solo them once again. I have here the RNC of FMR.
as we had it. And see the super nice move. I actually like it a little bit more without that. Guitars. Solo them. Let's so make also a low cut here with them. Add a little bit of 3K. Let's see if we take it away. Just add a tiny amount. Let's see what the low end is doing. Use that also a little bit around 100. Felt it. Seeing the whole mix. Okay, I like that. So let's leave that for now. Maybe we do a little bit of volume rides later on. And um, with the vocals um, in the box, the only thing that was done was a little bit of um, automation, as you can see, volume automation, um, not too much. Um, so we do everything else with the upper compressor. So let's go on to the um, vocals now. Okay, so before we go actually to the vocals now, um, this is now a good time to add a little bit bus compression to see how the mix translates with a little bit of EQ and also compression. And I add to that the Tegela Audio Manufaktu Cream that I always have on my master bus for quite some time now. I really, really like that compressor. So um, let's see what we can do with that. Um, let's play the song maybe in a dancer section here. So let's bring it in. Let's add a little bit of compression first. Two to one, for the release, take 30. So what I try here is not to get too much compression, so around two to maximum three dB. About it. It's also at a little bit of low end, 100 maybe. Try 12. So that's four. Let's try 10. Without it. And 12 is a little bit better. Right. Sounds quite good. And let's go now to the vocals. Um, 
as I said, the vocals, just some automation in there. Um, but let's go now to the lead vocals first and then to the back, um, back vocals. Um, so what I have on the back vocals is um, I'm going to add a little bit of EQ on the board and I also have two compressors actually in a row, um, 1176 and a 2A. And um, after we made all those decisions, we're going to add some effects to it. So let's start off with the lead vocals. So this is in solo. That this was our song. Um, let's add first of all a little bit of EQ. Me and leave me Make a low cut. Me long Don't have too much information to below 100. A little bit of top end. Falling into pieces. And leave let's it try all also behind. a little bit of the bottom end here. Falling into pieces. I Got the message right. Oh, could never be wrong than right now. Longing for more would lead to everything that I don't want to feel See on my own. Two and I do. can't breathe out the words that I would love to hear from you. I got time so and you got shelter. I'm falling into oh. pieces. I'd leave it all behind. I'm falling okay. into pieces. Let's go to the compressors now. Got the mess. And I have first of all here the 1176, and that goes directly into the 2A. Um, what I use the 1176 um, quite recently actually is um, use it just to get the first peaks maybe up to 2 dB of compression in a ratio of 20 to 1, medium attack and a very fast release. And then it goes into the 2A where it do basically the main, the heavy lifting of the compression um, up to 5 or 7 dB of compression depending on the song. So let's play it. You got time. Let's bring up the it's input. I got shelter. We can't deny that this was our song. Hold me and leave me and hold me long enough. Right. To leave it gone. To also leave add it gone. To I'm falling into Oop, pieces. I leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. So as you can see here, we've got, got maximum of two dB of compression. Right. Let's go to a little bit of a louder part here. Set right. I'm falling into pieces. Too much. I'd leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. I got the message right. Let's see in the two A again. I'm falling into pieces again. I'm falling into pieces, my friend. I'm falling into, I'm falling into, All right, so let's I'm sing falling the whole into pieces again. I'm falling into pieces, my friend. I'm falling into, I'm falling into. That sounds quite good already. Um, let's add also um, the background vocals. Let's focus maybe here. I'm falling into pieces. I leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. I got the message right. I'm falling into pieces. I leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. I they were actually um, um, not that dynamic. So what I might add is just a little bit of um, parallel compression. Um, but first of all, let's go to the EQ once again. I'm falling into pieces. Low cut. I leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. Let's add some high end, 12,000 hertz. 
I'm falling into pieces. I'd leave it all behind. Let's see. I'm falling into pieces. If we pieces, take out a little bit of 250 around here. I'm falling into pieces. I'd leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. I Without it. I'm falling into pieces. And we'll I'd leave it all behind. Much brighter. I'm like falling that. into pieces. I Just a parallel compression. I'm falling into pieces. I'm going to show you what I did on the parallel compression. I have here the last FMR unit. I'm falling into Ratio 4 to 1. Fast I'd attack. Um, not so fast release. And quite I'm a heavy compression. Into pieces, so to really make that um, even, I'm with no peaks. Into pieces. I'd leave it. it all behind. I'm falling anyway. into pieces. I Much more consistent. And let's bring that in with the originals. I'm falling into pieces. So without pearl compression. I'd leave it all behind. And sneak it underneath it. I'm falling into pieces. I let's see in the whole mix. Little bit more. Falling into pieces, I leave it all behind. Falling into pieces, I got the message right. Falling into pieces, I leave it all behind. My nice. falling into pieces, I got the message. So as you also can see here in the analyzer, we got a very nice stereo image. Falling into pieces, I'd leave it all behind. You don't want it um, too narrow, just in the middle, so let's also spread it out a little bit to left and right. Falling into pieces, I'd leave it all behind. So what I hear now is I want to add a little bit more um, spank to the kick and snare. So I'm gonna add also a little bit of pedal compression with that. So let's go to the drums once again. Let's just solo the drums. And I have here two tracks, kick parallel and snare parallel. Um, so they come from the um, original ones. Um, and I have in the rack for that the Elysis. And let's Solo just the kick and snare. So, um, without the kick and snare parallel, so let's just solo those. So if we just take the kick, as you can see, I have ratio four to one. Again, fast attack, like on the background vocals. Um, not so fast release. Um, added quite a bit of makeup gain. And as you can see, compression up to 15 without it. With, it's also in the hard me setting. Don't need the gate here. And basically the same on the snare, you can already hear it, quite slamming. Basically the same settings as with the kick drum. Quite heavy compression without it. And with. 
So this is just the soloed um, parallel. And let's bring also the original ones now in. So with, without kick and snare parallel. And with. Let's see how that works in the whole mix. So how much we can bring there in. Let's start again here. You got tired. So this is full. And so I got shelter. We can't deny Without it. That this was our song. Hold me and leave me. Told me long enough to leave it gone. Leave it gone. Falling into pieces. Can't leave without it. it. Maybe a little bit more on the snare. Alright. Right. And I think it's now time to add um, some effects. Um, I'm going to use um, a Elysis Media Verb 4. Um, basically on the instruments um, and also a little bit on the vocals just to make the impression that everything was tracked in one room so it actually mushes everything and clears everything together and then I add um, also a little bit on the snare a little bit of um, a, a plate reverb maybe with the lexicon 200 and then we see what we do with delays and reverbs on the vocals so let's add with the Elysis um, a little bit to the overall mix. You got tired and so I got shelter. We can't deny that this was our song. Hold me so let's and leave me. Turn it up way too loud so you can hear it. To leave it also gone. on the leave it cushion gone. here. The guitars. Electrics. Also, the solo gets even a little bit more reverb. And it's also do with the vocals. Okay. Turn it back again. I might now use my headphones just to check how much of um, reverb we have in there. And I always advise to use headphones for that because you actually can't hear what's going on otherwise. You got tired and so I got shelter. So with And without it. Hold me and leave me. And with. Told me long Just adds a little bit more um, space to it. Um, let's go now to the snare and add a little bit of um, a vocal plate. I have on the lexicon here, um, which is that one, a, um, a preset that I created, which is number one here. This is a drum plate and, and a drum hall, so a combination of those um, with a little bit less of a decay, no pre-delay actually, um, half um, in the variation, no pre-delay here on the second processor, and um, basically the same settings as the other ones. Let's turn it a little bit down. All right, and let's see how that works out. So let's add it just on the snare to give it a little bit more space. Again, check it with headphones.
a little bit less. Just the drums without the lexicon and with. Just makes the snare a little bit um, a little bit more spacey sounding and a little bit bigger actually than it is. Without it and with. Turn the vocals a little bit back. Okay, and now um, what I might add finally also to the vocals is a little bit of a delay and also a reverb. Um, just to spread them a little bit to the left and right and um, fit them a little bit better in the mix, especially with um, a little bit of a delay. And I use for that the TC um, Electronics D2. Um, I acquired that actually quite recently. Um, very affordable, but it's a really great sounding. And it has one preset that I particularly like, and it's the um, preset 229. Uh, which is a straight delay from the good old unit, actually. So the original unit. And um, with the MS, um, what I always try to do is, um, especially um, when you have a tempo, so let's see, we have here 135 BPM. Um, there's a very nice website um, that you can use. It's sengpilaudio.com, and they have a um, delay time cal calculator. So just add 135 in here and calculate, and we got 444 delay with quarter notes. So this is the milliseconds in the delay time. And I already dialed that in, in my unit here, because you can do it quite freely, actually, as you can see. And this is now um, very nicely synced to the BPM of the song. So let's see how that works out. Let's go to the vocals once again. Also check it again with headphones. We can't deny that this was our song. Hope, hope, live, live, live. It's way too much. Just a little bit. So without it, hold me and leave me, and hold me long enough to leave it gone, leave it gone. Falling into We do the same here to the background vocals, so also add the delay in there. Let's go to the background ones. Got the message without right. delay. I'm falling into pieces. I'd leave it all and behind. I'm falling into pieces. I without the releases and the delay. Right. I'm falling into pieces falling again. Into I'm falling into pieces, and with. my friend. I'm falling into. I'm falling into. I'm falling into pieces again. Okay. And finally, also add just a little bit of reverb um, with um, a TC, another TC unit, which is the um, M350. And um, as you can see, I have a slapback going on. I um, don't know if I use that and the TC Classic Hall, but I probably just use the TC Classic Hall. Um, I'm, I just added, um, or actually I added quite a bit here, 
of the decay time and the coloration I made it a little darker sounding and a little bit of pre-delay. So let's see how that works out. I'm falling into so pieces. Just the 350. I'm falling into pieces. I'd leave it all behind. I'm Without falling it. into and pieces. I got the message right. A little bit less. I'm falling into pieces. Also with the background vocals. I'd leave it all behind. I'm falling into pieces. Without it. Got the message right. And with. I'm falling into pieces. Again, again. without. I'm falling into pieces. And with. And also the delay. I'm falling and the into pieces. I'm falling into. I'm falling into pieces. Again. I'm falling. Let's check in the beginning because there is a little bit quieter, not so dense mix. You got tired and I got shelter. We can't deny that this was our song. Hold me and leave me. All right. Told me long I actually really like the mix. Um, that's probably I would do um, when I do it just with analog stuff. Um, so no plug-ins. Um, as you can see, I've already inserted also the original mix of 2014 in there. So let's check that. How that sounds. We can't deny that this was our song. Hold me and leave me. Told me long enough to leave. A bit different. Falling into pieces, leave it all behind. Falling into pieces, I got the message right. So, um, for this quick mix, for this remix, I'm actually quite satisfied um, how that went. Um, again, the unmixed version sounded like that, so this is the very rough, rough mix. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope you liked this um, little example here with um, analog mixing. So I treated basically the DAW as um, a tape machine, so running all the tracks through the console and using just output equipment. Um, as I said at the beginning, I really like um, the way so that the, the quickness actually of working um, with physical faders um, on the analog console and also just reach for EQs and dial in um, the frequency that you like or want to cut. And yeah, so that's basically it. Um, please, um, if you have any questions, you can write um, your email or just um, add comments. And I try, of course, to answer them. And um, I'm going to see you in the next episode, hopefully. So have a nice day and see you next time.